A very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to this Tuesday night edition of Sports Tonight. My name is Tony Bitoy. I want to start by saying a very big thank you to you for joining us and also tell you that um, for the next uh, 50 minutes plus that we bring in Sports Tonight to you uh, this Tuesday, we will try to make it as enjoyable as possible. And of course, we will be updating you with all the stories uh, dominating the headlines, uh, both um, on the domestic scene and, of course, um, globally as well um, this Tuesday. So once again, thank you uh, for the opportunity, for the privilege to share this time with you. Um, that's one huge privilege we will not be taking for granted uh, tonight. Um, before I give you an outline of what we'll be doing on the show tonight, um, we will, uh, of course, start off with um, what has um, been uh, dominating the domestic scene for, for quite a while. It's the mood. Um, of the nation. Um, Nigeria lost two very um, important um, personalities last week, heavyweight um, football persons, uh, and the nation is still in money mood. And uh, that's why tonight we're starting off the show um, by reflecting on the reactions that have been coming from far and wide um, since um, the passing of uh, uh, former Super Eagles captain and coach Stephen Keshi, and of course, uh, former coach. Uh, uh, Shwebu Amodu, who also was the um, serving technical director in the Nigerian Football Federation before he passed on uh, Saturday morning. All right, so the reaction this time is coming from uh, FIFA uh, and, of course, the Nasarawa State uh, Government have also been um, sending in um, their tributes. Uh, President of FIFA, Gianni Infantino, sent in a letter of condolence to the NFF president and um, the deputy governor of Nasarawa State, uh, that you saw uh, in the picture, Honorable Silas Agara, was also at the NFF Secretariat um, earlier today to also convey the deep sense of sorrow uh, of the government of, of the state uh, and the people of uh, the state of solid minerals uh, on the deaths of uh, coaching greats Stephen Okechuku Keshi and Shwaibu uh, Amodu. Um, the NFF General Secretary, um, of course, um, uh, talked about... Um, the footprints that uh, both Shwebo Amodu and Steve Keshi have left behind and uh, says uh, that the Federation will do all that they can to make sure that the legacies of these two men, great men, um, doesn't uh, go um, in vain. All right. So that's uh, how we start off the show uh, tonight. The Nasarawa State Government and of course the World Soccer Governing Body FIFA um, also joining the long list of those who have been sending in messages from across the globe. Um, for the past few days that we've been mourning the loss of uh, two great sons of Nigeria. All right, um, Super Eagles um, uh, attacking midfielder, Omashani Aluko, um, is also be speaking about um, coaches uh, Stephen Keshi and uh, Amadou Shaibu. Interestingly, um, Omashani Aluko uh, made his debut for Nigeria in a friendly game in 2009 um, against France when Amadou Shaibu was the coach. And, of course, um, his last game for Nigeria was that game uh, against um, South Africa. Uh, okay, the last competitive game he played for us was against South Africa, where uh, he scored two goals in the 2-2 two -two draw that we played in Uyo. Unfortunately, not good enough for us to qualify for the uh, 2015 Africa Cup of Nations that are held uh, in Equatorial Guinea. All right. Amashin Aloko was um, a guest on sports this morning. Uh, on channels TV, and um, he had a few things to say about these two coaches and, of course, about the Super Eagles of Nigeria. I remember the most, like when I first came into the camp and Amudu was coach, you know, he, he greeted me so warmly as if I'd, it was my 100th cap. You know, that's, that's one thing that sticks with me a lot. They gave me a big hug, and I, I just transferred from in England youth football into Nigerian football and said, you know, we're, we're, so, we're proud, we're so happy to have you here, you know. Um, and as a coach, you know, he said, I didn't even expect to, to play in that game. Then he started me after a few training sessions and said, you know, you trained really well and you know, we're keen to see what you can do. So, you know, that was a childhood dream realized for me. So that, that's a, you know, a, a big memory for me. And Keshi as well, who was, was so warm to me, was, um, was a big believer in me at a time when, you know, a lot of Nigerians weren't sure yeah. what I was offering to the team, what I could bring to the team. He gave me my, kept putting me on. Like, 
you know, I was doing well in changing games, and then this Afro game where I scored, yeah, I scored the two goals. goals. Yeah, yeah, that was Nigeria, a, on the cash. Yeah, that was, you know, again, very happy moments for me. That. All right, that's um, Obashan uh Super Eagle striker, uh, talking about uh, coaches uh, Amadou Shaibu and Stephen Keshi, appreciating the fact that these two coaches gave him an opportunity um, to play uh, for Nigeria. Um, we will, of course, um, on the program tonight, be um, taking you to, to Joss. Hopefully, any moment from now, we should be able to connect um, with the president of the Nigeria Coaches Association, Beatrice Bewarang. We'll be speaking to him tonight uh, because uh, uh, we want to hear from him what the reaction is uh, from uh, Nigerian coaches, uh, particularly given the circumstances in which these two great sons of Nigeria uh, passed on. Uh, so hopefully when that call is ready, uh, we'll be able to connect with him and then find out from him exactly uh, what the association is doing and planning for their members uh, to ensure that they are able to last longer uh, in the service to uh, Nigeria. But while we wait for the call to come through, let me just quickly tell you that tonight we want you to talk to us uh, by means of uh, feedback. We expect that you will also uh, contribute your part to all that we've been doing on the program tonight. And I mean, the issues are still the same. What can we do this time? The um, issue is how can we make sure that our coaches are able to last longer, um, make sure that they are able to live longer. Coaching is high pressure, high pressure job. Uh, and uh, a whole lot of coaches, we can't even count tonight. There's so many have lost their lives to uh, high blood pressure related diseases and sicknesses. And it is important for us to be able to put things in place to make sure that they are able to live longer. All right, before we talk about the feedback, I'm told that Tabitha Zewarang is now on the line to us uh, on Sports Tonight. So let's quickly take you to Joss in Plateau State. Uh, and uh, catch up with uh, Beatrice Biwarang, who is the president of the Nigerian Coaches Association. Uh, Coach uh, Beatrice, thank you for joining us on uh, Sports Tonight. Um, I'm sure that uh, um, you, you've, you've, not been, you've been in very sober mood since last week. We lost Stephen Keshi, we lost Amadou Shuaibu. Both men were personally close to you, but on a bigger scale, they are also two key members of your association, maybe the best uh, of the coaches around in Nigeria. How does this exactly put you, uh, Coach Biwarang? Well, going, I would want to say thank you for, you know, reaching me this time. Thank you for having me. Yeah, go ahead, Coach. Well, uh, in fact, I would just... Uh, I would just say that last week had been a very black week for the coaches association. Uh, it, uh, in fact, I lack words to, to 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 actually describe what happened to us. So really, it has it is a big loss to to uh, Nigerian football. Coach Petros. Well, Hello. Yeah, go yes. on, Coach. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, uh, Frankly speaking, we okay. We 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 have been trying to put our heads together to see uh, what we can do to this our illustrious fan in the game of football. The, uh, when I called Shaibu to confirm whether actually, you know, Stephen Keshi had, had, had passed on, you know, he actually spoke so angrily by saying that, look, my president, this is uh, uh, something that, you know, this job that is, 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 is uh, a tongueless job. And look at how this man has just passed away, not you know, uh, knowing that in the next few days he too will not be uh, uh, will not be around. So really, it is something that we really have to sit down and find out the reasons for this 
unfortunate death. I called Chief Onigbinde, and uh, he too lacked words. The only thing he told me is that, look, he has been trying to actually, you know, uh, 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 bring out these young coaches to take over from them, but see how we are losing them. So that was how I actually had to come out and, 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 and say that, you know, I say that most of our coaches today, they are hypertensive. Why? Because, you know, when coaches are contracted in Nigeria, they would, they, 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 you know, they, they will not respect their, their contracts. They will not uh, 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 try to keep to the contract terms. And when somebody would work hard and get the results, you will suddenly be, be stopped. And then you will now start crying over his uh, entitlement. Why can't, you know, this kind of uh, problems uh, would, 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 be, uh, would, would come to us? How can we not get our potential? So I call on uh, Nigerians to really, you know, uh, 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 help us look at the, the, the coaches in the, in the Premier League. They are being old. Club owners don't even treat our coaches well. The players are not treated well. So you see, we are just doing this for the sake of loving the game. And that is why really I, I, I find it very hard to, 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 to stomach that of Coach Shaibu, who had been, you know, spending all his time to fight for the dignity of the coaches. And today is no more. In fact, I'm trying to uh, 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 meet with my executives to see how if we raise money and build our our national secretariat, we are going to name it after Oshaibu because of his passion to see that he raised the standard of the coaches. And he was able to get... Uh, this uh, car A license holding in Nigeria for the first time. So he has been doing a good and he has no more to what he is working his sweat for.